Hi again, welcome back, Attorney Steve Vondra, and in this video we are talking about the Central District of California. So we are talking about federal courts in this case, as opposed to state courts. As you know, we've talked about it in other videos. You have your state courts that run up and down the state, your superior courts, municipal courts, small claims courts, all kinds of courts up and down the state. But in this video, we are talking about the Central District of California. So you may have received, you may have been served a summons and complaint in a federal court lawsuit. You may have received a jury summons. This is the Central District of California, so let's go over that. So as you can see, in essence, the Central District is broken down into three different areas. You have one, the Western Division. That's going to cover San Luis Obispo County, Santa Barbara County, Ventura County, LA County. So you're going to have three courthouses in here serving the diff different areas. Okay, so you have one of the courts is the Edward Roybal Federal Building on Temple Street. You're also going to have the First Street Federal Courthouse. That's, believe it or not, on First Street. You're going to have also the Spring Street Courthouse, and that's on North Spring Street. So you're going to have three courts here in the Western Division. Okay, moving over to the Eastern Division, this covers a lot of ter territory in the Inland Empire, San Bernardino County, Riverside County, and the main court that you're going to find out there is the George Brown Federal Building. Okay. And finally, you have the Southern Division. Now, this is not to be confused with the Southern District. The Southern District is actually down further in San Diego area. This is the Southern Division of the Central District Courthouse. So that's an overview. As you can see, it covers a whole lot of territory of the Central District of California. So you may have been sued or summons to appear in any of these federal courts. And um, some people ask me, well, what type of cases are actually heard in the federal courts? We've done, a, we've done videos on this as well. Typically, federal courts are courts of limited jurisdiction. You have to have a federal question or a diversity case. What's the difference? Federal question is dealing with federal laws. Uh, an example of different federal laws might be admiralty, might be copyright, trademark, or patent, what we call intellectual property could be federal statutes such as the Truth in Lending Act. It could be federal securities litigation. It could be a federal tax issue. So that anything that would be a federal statute law, those kinds of things can be heard in federal courts under certain circumstances. You may have a civil rights claim. Civil rights claim. Oftentimes, these are heard in your federal courts. And federal crimes, forfeiture proceedings, habeas corpus, things like that, are often heard in federal courts. The other way to get into federal courts is, say, somebody from Texas or New York or Florida wants to sue somebody in California. That would be diversity, diversity of citizenship. So you have companies or individuals from two different states. Those are cases that can be heard in federal court. So if you need help with a civil matter in federal court in the Central District of California, at least now you know what it is. You know more than most of your friends will ever know. And so we hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like, subscribe or share, share your comments. This is Attorney Steve, and we hope that you've enjoyed. You can find out more information on about our company at attorneysteve.com. Have a great day. We'll talk again.